Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be playing Minecraft, um, in particular the Terra Firma Craft Plus mod. Um, this is a continuation of the original Terra Firma Craft mod, which is all based around progression, so from the Stone Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age, finally to the Steel Age. Um, it's a complete overhaul in terms of Minecraft mechanics, um, very much more focus on survival than anything else. Um, there are some really nice decorative blocks as well, so that is really nice for deck decoration and just creative mode in general if you want to but the main focus is survival um so i've already set up a world so we're just going to dive straight in now i haven't explored this world at all i just spawned it make sure everything worked okay so yeah let's dive straight in so as you can see oh ow everything is very very different so to get started best to pick up some of these rocks that are on the ground Ooh, berry bushes um there's a lot of information to go through. I'm sorry if I jump all over the place. Um, right, so these rocks are the best thing to really start off with. Ooh, here we go. So it comes up with this screen when you right-click with them on the floor. This is kind of meant to represent napping them. So all of this is going to be in the uh, on the wiki page, which I'll put in the description below. It has all the crafting recipes. You can also, if you've got not enough items included in in your mod list you can just click U on it and you can see all the uses for the rocks so you can go through all the different things so I've just made some knives but it's just a knife blade what you need to do is find some sticks to attach to it so you can find them lying on the floor, you can break leaves, or you can break leaf litter. You can also break these shrubs. I don't know if you need an axe to find to get sticks. Oh no, you don't. Okay. So, there we go. So we've got some stone knives. Now, next step will be to get some straw. So if you have a knife in your hand, just left click on any of the grass, and it will give you straw. Straw is kind of like the first it's incredibly useful, it's incredibly useful for the whole game, but it's, it's useful for roofs and just a building block in general at the very beginning. Now, that's... I don't actually know well, what biome are we in. So Pike Hill's Edge at, in the minimap, I don't know how true that is. Um, I don't know if it's up to date or not in terms of journey journey map, but we'll, we'll take it as that. Um, so we're in Ness at the moment, which is as you can see from the description. So this, there's three different rock layers, um, and the, Ness happens to be the top layer in this in this biome. Um, different ores spawn in in um, in different rock types. So I don't know off the top of my head what spawns in Ness. I think it's I think copper copper spawns in most all. All biomes um, and rock types. I think zinc does. I think bismuth also spawns in this one. <laughs> so we should be able to make bronze just from where we are at the moment. Um, right. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, on the bottom right, you can see I'm starting to get hot. That's a little temperature gauge. Um, so there's a few things we can do with that. If I go in the water, I would cool down, as you can see. But it doesn't last very long. The best thing to do really is to get some of this straw that we've picked up and we'll make us some clothes. So make a straw hat. So because I made that, depending on where you are, in, there's different there's different world type. It gets a bit confusing how many different things there are generated. But there's Europe, Asia, Americas and Africa. So the fact that this straw hat has been made in that shape means that we're in an Asia biome. So if we put that on, it should cool us down a little bit. I don't think that was enough to cool us down enough. So make a little grass shirt. There we go. You can see we're in the green now. I'll just make the full set of grass gear just to make sure. Um, there we go. Pop that all on. And there we go. Now we're at a comfortable temperature. So. Okay. We're in a salt swamp. I've never played. Oh, this, there we go. Never really played in this biome before, but it's quite nice because you get the only limitation is that there's not a lot of fresh water, which you do need to drink. Um, the green bar below and the blue bar represent 
well, food is green, thirst is thirst is blue. So we do need fresh water drink. We can distill it from salt water, but it's not it's not particularly easy. So food spawns in the world. You can't just punch grass and get seeds. That's not how it works. You have to find naturally occurring food in the world. So grab some garlic. Pick that up. <laughs> Must be nice munching on raw garlic. Might turn uh no, it's a key card. Right. Oh, small garlic over there. Oh, ow. That's lucky. If you, with full damage, you can end up breaking your ankles and or straight spraining yourself, so that's probably lucky that we didn't do that early on. Let's grab some of that. Now, if I go in the water now while I'm wearing clothes, they will get wet. And that has a negative effect on <coughs> the, um, the close ability to keep you warm will cool you down. So it's best to take your clothes off if you're gonna go into into water just to well just just so you don't freeze to death. But it's a good practice to have, especially during for winter when if you go into the water with clothes you could freeze to death in a matter of minutes. Um so let's continue picking up some of these. Ooh, found some grapes. Now, I'll go through very briefly what nutrition is in this game. So, we go into our tab, we can go to, there's all these different things, there's inventory, there's your skills which will go up naturally as you as you use them. Um, it has a little calendar, so tells you the season, the day, time, and we have this nutritional value. So, you want to kind of keep this, all of these, all of these, um, food types as high as possible just to make sure that you're as healthy as possible. Um, as you can see it's already started to come away from each of them and my health start, the start of a thousand is now 995 max. So it's not great. You want to keep the higher the higher all of those the higher your health will be. If you drop in one particular one it will drop your max health by 200 if you don't eat that food group for months on end. So you kind of want to try and keep a varied diet. Um, you can do this later on easily through rather than eating individual foods you can make sandwiches and salads and things that will kind of help you keep a balance um, right so oh that's good right so there's some fresh water here do I want to settle down here I quite like the idea of being near salt wash just because it is incredibly useful and we do get some food spawn if I can find any. I don't know if any will be here. No, I might have to bring some. So you can get scallops which spawn. You can bring them over from different biomes and you can place them in salt water um, and they'll breed naturally in there. So it might be a good idea to set up shop here, at least temporarily. Um, right, so that's, let's do that. So I'll make an axe. Oh, we can do it properly. Let's make an axe. Here we go. And we're gonna want to make ourselves oh, come on. No, okay. You can get sticks on breaking this leaf litter as well on the floor. You can also get mushrooms and feathers doing that. Um just kind of Good idea if you're running short. So let's get an axe. As you can see, the crafting grid is only two by two instead of three by three. That there's normal Minecraft. Um, there is no real crafting table in this. The crafting table is in your inventory. Um, and to get it to the three by three, you have to kind of craft a crafting table. Um, but to do that, we need a saw to make planks from our logs. So, and to do that, we need metal so it's going to be a while before we actually we get a saw um and get a full crafting grid right so oh that's not going to annoy you i'll leave it for a minute right so cut down a few trees what's the time oh it's very nearly night okay so we've only got a few hours left of daylight i believe during the spring summer it's about eight o'clock the sun starts to set 
we're not going to have to sleep tonight just because we need cloth or we can use a large raw hide but we'd have to hunt an animal which has its own issues in this mod. Um, so let's make something up. Um, if I build a little hole, we can bury ourselves. This is probably a good a good shout early on. So let's see if we can find some clay. Clay's incredibly oh, it's, it's probably the most crucial thing early on and oh, throughout the whole whole game. Um, clay is used to make molds. It's used to make pottery. It's used for everything basically. Um, you can tell if you're near clay because there's a type of yellow flower called a goldenrod, <coughs> which kind of hints that it only ever grows on clay. So it's a really good indication of if it's in the nearby. Ooh, let's go get that. I think that's I think that's jute. That'll be useful for making burlap sacks. You can also make all sorts of stuff with that, including rope, which will be useful for getting animals later on. Uh, I don't think I'm going to find clay before it gets dark. Um... Okay. That's a shame. Right, let's go back to where we were. Just because it's quite a nice barrier from the from mob spawning. I think between that little... It's almost like a sandbar, really, that little bit where we were. Because um, we've got natural barrier of the water, which they, they can cross, but they I don't think they spawn in water. Oh, dear. <laughs> Mobs also have a lot more health than vanilla Minecraft. And stone tools aren't particularly useful for killing them. Uh, right, so let's set up shop here, I guess. Oh, that would have been smart of me to do to Kumi. Um, so, dirt blocks, sand, gravel, it falls like sand does in vanilla Minecraft. So you don't really want to be... This is quite difficult. Normally I like to find clay, so that you because clay doesn't have the gravity like sand, dirt, gravel does in this. So you can kind of build a little hovel in clay and it will hold its structure. The only problem with straw is that you can, it is you can rip through it. So if a mob, if a zombie happens to walk over this, they will just fall into this hole. Which isn't ideal. Um, what I might do then is make a little log pile. So you shift right click. I'll make that. Oh, there's straw there. No, doesn't matter. We'll risk it. Right. Just eat the tiny amount of garlic I've got left. Uh, what can I do to begin with? So this is probably going. This is the only problem with early on in this mod. Is a lot of waiting around. You can. I might risk going up the surface just to try and get some. Yeah, I'm going to just to try and get some resources early on. And plus, I'm getting thirsty. So. Get us a drink. Nope. Oh, this is oh, that's gonna be annoying. So some of this, like this, will be salt water, and that's fresh water. <laughs> I don't know why it's spawned by that. It's a little bit weird. Um, mm, might have to try and fix that later on. Oh dear. Right. Let's keep going. See if we can find some clay. Ooh, that's not pretty. That's nice to know. Right, so we'll set this as home. Just because I think I think this is a good space, at least early on. Oh, stay away from spiders. Spiders have a lot of health. About I think it's four times as much as zombies in this. They do drop silk though, which is incredibly useful. Ooh, cabbages. Oh, can I hear a spider run away? 
They do drop silk, which is I think the strongest, um, it's the strongest kind of string type and cloth type in the game, and it's really good against heat and cold. So we do want to get some of that at some point, but we're in no position at the moment without any armor or proper weapons to fight them. Let's keep going. Uh, we're in a very precarious position at the moment because we've got oh dear, we've got no way of protecting ourselves really. Come on. Oh, I do like these shrubs aesthetically, but they're a pain to get round because they sometimes they block you and sometimes they don't. Like I could walk through this, but <laughs> sometimes it just decides to block you at the last second and then you die. Right then, let's keep going, keep going. Everything's fine. <laughs> Oh, I'm also starving to death. That's great. So, I don't think that when, if you get to zero health, I don't think your health ticks down. I don't think your health ticks down like in vanilla Minecraft until you get to, like, half a heart type thing. I think it just deteriorates your max health quicker, I believe. It's, it's been a long time since I've let myself starve in this game. I don't, I normally find more food than what I've found so far. Is. Ah, here we go. So here's some berry bushes, which are really useful for a continuous food source kind of early on. Oh dear, no. Ah. Circle around, I don't lose that. Damn it. Run, run, run. Um, so they, different berries, well, different berry bushes have berries kind of grow on them during different seasons. I don't know what brunch berry is, but berry is a type of fruit, so it's always useful to have a supply of them. Ooh, right in. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm probably going to die. Right, come on. Let's find some. Oh, here we go. Clay, finally. Shovel ready. Let's go, go, go. See, holds up the structure. Right, quick, quick, quick. There we go. Right, we're safe. So now we've got some clay, I can show you kind of, well, I can actually start the game. <laughs> you can't really start the game without clay, you can't do much at all. So, clay, you right click like you do with the stones, It's it, you can form different things. So, early on you want to get some pots, so I'll find the, get a few of them up. There we go, we get three, one, two, three, four, and get some water jugs for storing water in. They're not incredibly useful, these ones, just because they they can break on you. I think they've got a random timer for when they would break. Um, and once you you can you can you can't hold more than one thing of water in it. So once once you take one sip, then it's all gone. You you can't kind of have have a drink and it retains water. It's it's one drink or nothing. Right. If that makes any sense at all. So, got a pottery right like, click in a little hole. I might turn the sound down, it's, it sounds a little bit loud to me. There we go. Um, put it in a hole, get some straw. You think you need eight? Yep. So put eight down, get some logs. Luckily, we did actually cut some trees down. And there we go. We can make a little fire starter like this. Keep your distance from it. Hold right click and eventually, there we go. Uh, chuck that in the fire. So, we've got eight hours left until the pottery is done. By that point, it will be daytime. So, that's just. Keep digging out some clay. Okay. 
Oh, what's the... No, it's already daylight. It's weird. Oh, it's because it's summer, isn't it? Okay. Right, so... During different seasons, um, the sun sets and rises um, earlier or later, depending. So in the in the summer, I think you have you have much longer days than in the winter, um, which I didn't take into account. So now that we have some clay, let's just type. Uh, uh, let's just do pots. We can come back to that later. Let's keep exploring for a bit. Now, early on, so I didn't really go through what we got. We got some flax seeds, which is amazing, um, which is used to make linen. Oh, what out for the crazy spearman. That's all right. Um, oh, carrots. Oh, that's an apple tree. So we just really want to be picking up as much stuff as possible. Did you pick up the shells? No, not yet. So shells are useful for making, it's like lime, um, which you kind of, you have to smelt down in one of the pots that I'm making and it can be used to make lime water, which is used to, in the tanning process of hides and things. Um, it's also used to make mortar, so making bricks and things. So it is useful, but I'm hoping to find a type of flux stone, which is a type of stone you can find on the surface. That might be it. Is that... Yes, marble. So marble is one of them, so you it's the same with limestone chalk. You can do the same with as you do with shells. You put them in a pot, you kind of smelt them down, and it turns into lime, which you can turn into flux. Um, which is the way I, I tend to call them flux stones. Um, just from the original terraform craft, but flux stone is incredibly useful for smithing, so you can you can't really progress without it. Right, so we found some copper. Copper is the first step in getting out of the Stone Age, so we need to find. Uh, I should mark it actually. Let's put copper. Oh, we found some pigs. On the mini map, there's some little pigs over there. Oh. I like this biome, it's nice. What's the average temperature? 13. That's not too bad. So you should get the best of best of all worlds really. It should be it might snow in this when it gets to winter. Um but it should be warm enough most of the year that we can grow year round, which should be nice. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, okay. Let's try and get down from here. So the next step really is we need to find enough copper to be able to make a few tools. Um, which will probably be about I need about twenty nuggets. And so far I've got one. So not in the best position ever, but still. I should probably go back and have a look in the area on that one nugget because usually when you find one you find multiples but let's just keep going I can come back to it later if need be mm. right, so the other thing we want to find so we found some veg we found some fruit in terms of seeds what we really want to find is grain now grain is really useful because to start animal husbandry you need grain to feed Cows, sheep, goats, that sort of thing. Uh, pigs, you can get away with using carrots and potatoes, onions, that sort of thing. Um, but to get the food through dairy, we need to get cows. So, oh well, cows or goats. I think I I've never used goats. I think they're I think they're in one of the more recent updates. Oh, I'm getting thirsty. Lovely. Oh, berry bushes. 
Oh, we actually have some berries on there. Lovely. So if you get multiple food types like this, so you've got two. If you click S, it'll combine them. Um, do I have any old food? No. Um, food does rot if it's kind of left lying around in the inventory. So I'll show you what that looks like in a second after some time's gone by. But it'll be it will show decay in a percentage. Um, let's take these clothes off. It's probably best if it decays, then well, a small amount of the food will kind of disappear over time and it's not edible anymore. Oh, some more French fries. Um, you can get rid of kind of the decay like you kind of would. In real life, if you've got a little bit of mould on a bit of food and you, for some reason, really want to eat mouldy food, um, just cut the mould off. And that's what you do in this. You get a knife and you click D and it'll get rid of the mould and the decay. Oh, so I believe we're now in an Africa biome. Still got nests. But these trees, what are they? Fever trees. They only spawn in Africa. Oh, we've got some pigs, I think. Gooseberries. I'm finding everything today. Yeah, warthogs. Yes, they're definitely African. Well, I'm hoping to find some cows. Now, animal husbandry is different as well, as you can always get everything's different. But animal husbandry in particular, you start off with the wild variant, so aurox bison, um, ibex, warthogs. Um, I think it's, I don't know what the other ones are called, I think it's just boars or wild pigs. Um, and you have to get familiarised with them, so you feed them over time, and they'll get to know you and like you. Um, however, the first ones you train will only get to a certain familiarity. You have to breed them in order to kind of get a more familiarised animal. Um, so they're their babies will be more familiarised with you and you can train them higher until they're max well they're the most familiarised they can be at which point when you breed those ones they'll turn into kind of their domesticated versions so pigs will look like pink pigs uh, if you do aurox it will turn into I think it's Frasian cows not 100% um, sheep will turn from Mouflon, I think it's Mouflon, into just normal sheep. So, um, so yeah, it's a long process, but it, it's worth it in the end because you get a lot more resources from them, and yeah, it's just nice all round, really. Galena is lead, which I believe in this version is completely pointless. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a use yet. Um, going forward, it probably will, but at the moment, I don't believe there is a use for it. Ah. Uh, so still no, still haven't seen any more copper, and I haven't seen any more. Well, I definitely haven't seen any. Uh... Ooh, oh, speak of the devil. Here we go. Right, oats. Yeah, a couple of seeds. If hopefully we can find more. Oh, and silver. Silver's useful later on. It's very useful actually making alloys. Um, you can also make decorations and stuff with it, so it's quite nice. Get a handful of these. I kind of want, I mean, I would like about 10 oat, really, and get some oat seeds. Just so I can start a farm. Um, do, 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 do. Nope. I think I'm only ever going to, I think I'm just going to find what I found. Three is not ideal. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm going to need a lot more than that if I want to domesticate animals. Even for three fully grown oak, I probably wouldn't be able to domesticate a single animal or familiarise a single animal. Um, so that's frustrating. Oh well. Uh, what's that? Back of grapes? Yeah. Right, that's some gold just before we end this episode. Right, so I'll do some kind of 
foraging off camera, try and find some bits and bobs, um, and I'll head back and start a small small house back where we first started. Um, thank you all much for watching. If you like, if you liked what you saw, <laughs> leave a like and subscribe. That'd be great. Uh, so I'm hoping. I don't know what my schedule is going to be at the moment. It's just kind of when I can release videos. Um, so I'm hoping to get at least one or two videos out a week. I'm going to do a few other bits just apart from Minecraft and Terraform Craft um, or gold. I'm hoping to do some RimWorld, Kerbal Space Program. I tend to do survival games, so that's probably what I'm going to stick to at least for the time being. Um, so yeah, um, I hope to see you in the next one. Um, if you've got any feedback, please please give me feedback. Um, just tell me what I'm doing right, wrong. If you have any suggestions, that would be amazing. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.